Hello students, today we'll do a poem from Hornbill. The poet, poem's name is A Photograph. The poet is Shirley Tolson. First we'll give a reading of the poem and then we'll explain the summary. A Photograph. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands and she, the big girl, some 12 years or so. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera, a sweet face, my mother's, and that was before I was born. And the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Some 20, 30 years later, she'd laugh at the snapshot. See Betty and Dolly, she'd say. And look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past. Mine is her laughter. Both wry with the laboured ease of loss. Now she has been dead nearly as many years. And that girl lived. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. It's silence, silences. As it must have become clear to you, this poem is about the loss of a loved one, bereavement and how it impacts our life. How the impact of losing someone in your life is permanent. Though life keeps changing from time to time. The structure of the poem is in blank verse. There is no rhyme scheme. It is written freely. And the title is a very appropriate phrase, a photograph. Because a photograph captures a certain moment. And memories don't change when they are captured. And they are eternal. But life goes on. And this poem has, has been evoked once the poet looks at her mother's photograph. Now I'll give you a line to line summary. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling. Probably she's looking at a photograph of her mother with her two cousins and they went on a sea holiday. Each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so. The mother the poet's mother at that time was 12 years and the cousins were younger and she was responsibly holding the two girls' hands. All three stood still to smile through their hair. There was probably wind blowing on the seashore and the hair was in their face but yet they were standing still and looking straight at the camera that their uncle was shooting for a beautiful picture and they were smiling through their blowing hair. At the uncle with the camera, a sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born. She's emphasizing that the, the photograph was taken much before she, the, the poet was born and the mother's face was very sweet. Probably when the mother died, her face was not as sweet because time changes. Time changes a lot of us. All of us are, uh, with, with life change our features. And the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient fee. Something like the sea, the nature, it doesn't change much over time. But our lives change, our faces change. And the sea, at that pro pro time, had probably washed the girl's sand feet imprints on the sand. Some 20, 30 years later, she'd laugh at the snapshot. Now she remembers a time, 20, 30 years later, when her mother was a big woman and she was a little girl, she would laugh, the mother would laugh at the photograph and see and comment on how ridiculously the girls were dressed. But still she remembered the photograph with a lot of nostalgia and happy happiness. See Betty and Dolly, she'd say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past. Mine is her laughter. Now the poet gets sad, nostalgic. She says, that the sea holiday was her mother's past, which she remembered Riley, and now she remembers her mother's laughter Riley. That is one of the memories that she has etched on her mind of her mother. With the laboured ease of loss, the mother and the poet both realize that loss is a part of life. You lose your memories, time change, people go, and we come to terms with it. But there is always a, a hint of a difficulty when we are trying to forget the loss. Now she's been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. So now the mother has been dead for 12 years. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. 
and the poet gets nostalgic again she is taken in by the loss and she she has nothing else but silence in the end she says it's silence silences the circumstance silence the quietness the loss silences her she becomes quiet now now we'll go to the literary devices that the poet has used here she has used a few literary devices with a very good effect the first is the allusion the allusion is the reference to one thing to explain another she uses the impermanence of cardboard to make you understand the impermanence of life the second is the alliteration alliteration is repeated uh, use of letters or words for emphasis or for musical tone here the examples are still stood to smile and silence silences the next literary device is a transferred epithet a transferred epithet is an adjective used for a noun that is not usually used for it here transient is the adjective that is used for feet whereas feet are not transient life is transient transient means short lived life is short lived but here the girl's feet's imprints have been washed away by the sand so they were also transient an oxymoron is the coming to together of two entirely opposite entities like labored ease as explained earlier it is easy to it is a part of life to forget and move on but you never forget it is always with a bit of difficulty so it is with labored ease that she goes on the last is the personification it is giving human qualities to inanimate things inanimate lifeless things silence is a lifeless thing it does not have human human tendencies but its silence in the last line its silence silences the situation has been given the human quality of silence which silences everything and there is also a repeated use of s that is alliteration to conclude the message that the poet or the expression that she wants to tell you is that it is a tribute to her mother and the photograph captures a memory similarly her mother's laughter is captured in her mind as a memory both her memories don't change but time changes and now her mother is no more and that circumstance that loss has silenced her the sea holiday was her, her the mother's past and her laughter is the poet's past both learned to live with their losses but this feeling of loss silences her in the end